I want to know why I should be vegan when I like meat. I hated being a hypocrite, um, but oh, if you're happy okay. to be a hypocrite... Oh, damn! <laughs> nah, you can't say that! You, nah! <laughs> yeah. A step too far. What did a cow ever do to me? What did a chicken ever do? I don't know what to say, bro. <laughs> What's up, brother? You want to sit down? Yeah. Come on, come on. <laughs> you got your mask on for uh, to protect the identity. Hello. What's your name? I'm Mark. Mark? What's your name? Joey, bro. See, you've got enough space, man. You're big, bro. Uh -huh. You're a big fella. <laughs> so, uh, why aren't you vegan? Why am I not vegan? Yeah. I like meat, bro. That's why. You like meat. <laughs> so, you like the Are taste. you vegan? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so are you trying to tell me I should be vegan? I want you to tell me and justify why you're not. Because, uh, you know, like, you say you like the taste of meat. I did too. But then I stopped eating meat because I think animals matter morally and shouldn't be exploited and slaughtered for a quick sandwich. Okay. You're saying this now. Yeah. But what about before? I don't know. Think 2,000, 3,000 years before where there wasn't the industrial power to just make food that you can eat now. Yeah. You're only a vegan because... You're not surviving anymore. You're living. Of course, we've got the choice now. You do have the choice, but we're, we've always slaughtered animals. We've always killed animals to eat them. Yeah, we've always slaughtered to, each other too. To yeah. some extent now it's, and I've seen pictures and videos of like how head, like chickens are being, I think it's disgusting, of course. But I think to say that because of that, I shouldn't eat meat is, I don't think you really have like, you know, for you, of course, it's your life. You can choose if you want to be a vegan. Mm. But for me, I want to be, I, want to, I like meat. I want to eat meat. It's natural. It's natural. I think it's natural, okay. yeah. So before you, you say more things, we want to talk about the things that you put on the table here. Because you put a few things on the table. You said it's, uh, well, well, before you couldn't, you wouldn't have been, before industrial sort of food production, you wouldn't have been able to. That you, was one you of your could, reasons. No, 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 no. You could have. Okay, you could have, but everyone was happy if, okay. I don't know, someone caught like a deer or something. Okay. Everyone would be happy. Yeah, yeah you Like meat okay. wasn't a necessity, but it was like, everyone would be happy, you know. I don't really care what happened back then, to be honest with you. Oh, damn, why? Yeah, I, I don't actually care what happened 2000 years ago, bro. <laughs> I don't care what people did to survive back then because it doesn't, it doesn't matter now. It doesn't matter now. What matters now is we have a choice. And uh, when we choose to eat animals, we're choosing to have them be exploited, treated cruelly most of the time and executed for a sandwich. So the other thing you said is it's natural. Um, I don't care what's natural. Oh. I care what's, uh, what's ethical, you know, because a lot of horrible things are actually natural, like hurricanes and natural disasters and, you know, naturally occurring viruses and lions shredding antelope to death, you know, in nature without stunning them first in slaughterhouse. Okay. I don't care what's natural. Okay, okay, you know, okay. rape is natural. Killing humans, killing other humans has been pretty like natural part of human evolution and things like this. I don't really, really care about nature. I care about like appealing to nature is actually like a logical fallacy. I've got a mic on. Oh, you do? Okay, okay. Yeah. So okay. I care about what's like ethical and what we should do, what we ought to do. You said that you, you hate seeing all the decapitated chickens and stuff. But yeah, that won't I stop do. you eating meat. So, so you don't like seeing that. So what does that tell you about what's natural for you? <laughs> well, that's a good point. If we want to entertain your natural thing, even though I think it doesn't matter what's natural, what matters is what's ethical. But you naturally felt sick when you seen all those decapitated chickens. Yes, I did. Yeah. I don't think you're, you're a cold, stone hard, cold hearted killer no. or cruel person. Like you're just deliberately cruel to animals. Oh, no, no. no. Like if you've seen a pigeon, I don't, you don't strike me as the person who would just go up and singe them in the eye with a lighter <laughs> or something and go- yeah, Who does that? <laughs> you don't even strike me as a person who would pounce on them and bite them in the neck and go and rip their throat out and Whoa. go, well, you know what, it's natural. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you would say it's natural, dude. You would say that's crazy. What are you doing to that poor bird? You can have a vegan burger right there. What are you doing that for? Okay. So what I'm saying is you- What was the original question, by the way? Why aren't you vegan? Why am I not vegan, okay. You said because you like the taste of meat. Yes, I do. Yeah. So pleasure. Yeah. So you get pleasure from meat. You enjoy it. You mm, prefer to yeah. eat it. It's a preference of yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so for you, it's a flavor. And what is it to the animal when you eat meat? What, what happens to them? Like for you, you get a flavor. What happens to them? They die. They're not. A, yeah, they die. That's one part of it. Uh, but there's horrible things that happen before they die. Mm -hmm. Like, um, you know, about factory farming in the UK. 
I don't know about in the UK, but I've seen some videos, yeah. So what do you think happens to animals in the UK when they're farmed? What do you think? What, what do you picture when I say, hey, if you say chicken, you eat chickens? Uh, yeah, you yeah. You chicken? I, I like chicken. Well, what, what's, your, what's your preferred meat? Um, bacon? What? Sh I don't know. Yeah, bacon's nice. You like bacon? Beef. Bacon? I like a good steak. You, you like steak? Beef? Yeah, a good steak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We could talk about pig chickens and pigs first though, because uh, I want to talk about them predominantly because a lot of people, they eat chickens and pigs, you know, chickens particularly, because about a billion chi chickens are slaughtered here in the UK each year. Uh-huh. Yeah, and most of them, where do you think they are? Do you think they're out on the, on the grass? Uh, no, not most of them. Where do you think they are? Probably in slaughterhouses. Well, they're actually called a factory farm. Okay. So like a big warehouse filled to the brim with like 50,000 chickens mm. and they have like five or six or seven or eight of those big sheds okay, on a farm. Okay, okay. Yeah. Can I just say something quickly? Yeah, yeah. Um, I want to know why I should be vegan okay. when I like meat. Because okay. you're trying, because I understand the points you're telling me yeah. that a lot of things, but there's also a lot of other disasters in the world which you probably don't think about. care so much about. But like, do you look at, I don't know, do you see thousands of children dying in, I don't know, Syria? The whole city's wiped. Do you think about that every day? You're not asking me about I don't, Syria. I don't, I, don't, I don't think about it every day, but I don't but see then, you with a gun shooting Syrian children. No, no, children, no, 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 you know no. I mean? But that's but not I what I'm see, But no, no, but this is, this is the answer okay. to your question here. Okay. I don't see you with a gun shooting Syrians and bombing them. I don't see you doing that. But I, what I do see you doing is going in and paying for animals to be executed every single day for a sandwich. You know, so that's why I'm talking to you about why you should be vegan. If you were out there doing some horrible war crime, then we would, I'd change the debate table title to, to why are you committing war crimes? But, um, you know, because it's because you, you're culpable for these things that happen to animals. But we're not really culpable for what's going on in Syria. And I don't see any practical way of us helping right now. Other we can raise awareness if that's what you want to do. I don't know. I guess for me, meat's been so like, Installed into me. How old are you? Uh, I'm like 18. 18. But I've always eaten a lot of meat. Same. And I don't know. I think at some point I might go vegetarian. At some point, vegans a step too far in my opinion. not a step too far if it's your personal preference. But for me, I wouldn't go that further step okay. to be vegan. Let's analyze. I would just be a vegetarian. Let's analyze. If that. anything. If any. If you were going to do something. If I was going to do cut something. Cut out meat. Yeah, because to be fair, there's lots of. If it's just about the taste, like a lot of vegetarian, um, like meat tastes the same. Why do you think I, I, I didn't just go vegetarian and keep eating dairy and eggs? Why do you think I didn't? You probably think you're just using them for what they have. What, what was it's, it like, it's like yeah. robbing them. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's, that's a little more subtle, but maybe it's a little bit more than that. Like, mm -hmm. So do you know much about these two industries, dairy and eggs? Not much actually. Yeah. So what do you think happens to in order for a dairy cow to produce milk, how do you think that process happens? They have a bull and they stick like an electro ejaculator in the bull's anus to force him to ejaculate. <laughs> oh right? shit. Uh, peak, or bro. they jack him off. So they molest this bull, like they're about one, two, three, what, three years old or something like this. Three year old bull, like a young bull, and they're jacking him off, get the semen out, and then they get the semen, and then they get a, uh, it's like a, it's a big insemination device. So they get that device, they put the semen in there, and then they get their fist, and they stick their entire arm in the anus of the female cow to hold the cervix, and then they stick in the tube and inseminate in, into her vagina and inseminate her like that. They put her in a, in a rack so she can't move, and then she has a nine month pregnancy. So this, this calf is growing in her stomach for nine months, right? And she's getting ready to, to see her baby, and she'll give birth, and the farmer will take the calf away immediately, immediately after birth. And they say it's to protect the calf, but really it's to protect their profit and their milk, right? If the calf's a male, they don't produce milk, so the dairy industry don't want them. Sometimes they shoot them in the head on the farm, all right? And that happens in England as well, but they'll, they'll be outlawing that by the end of this year. They'll, they can send them off a veal, so they can send them to Europe in a, in a truck con to container and they'll get slaughtered as baby cows for veal, or they'll go to beef and go to a slaughterhouse to be killed, right? So the meat industry and dairy industry are, are the same. So that process will happen, the forced impregnation, getting her calves taken about three or four times, and then she'll go to a slaughterhouse and get turned into a burger. Because 50% of the beef in, the country, in this country comes from um, dairy cows. So they're the same industries. The suffering is more prolonged and it's more maternal trauma for the dairy cow, you know, to have, because they're maternal animals. And you separate a mammal from her, her calf, 
or a, you know, and they, they pine for each other. It's it's an emotional pain that feels like a physical one to them. You know what I mean? Eggs are pretty horrible too. Like all those hens get gassed to death when they don't produce eggs anymore. And the males, because the males don't produce eggs, they don't want them. So they blend them up on their first day of life. So what happens? The fertilized eggs will come out of a parent breeding shed and they'll go to an incubator, right? And then they'll hatch and the, the females and males will be separated out. So they'll get the females, they can lay eggs for the egg industry that, and the males, they get discarded, right? They go down this conveyor belt and go into a big industrial blender, fully conscious on their first day of life, or they will uh, get gassed. Um, the females will go on to lay egg, 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 egg a day in the breeding, uh, in the egg facility. And sometimes they suck in all the nutrients out of their body and they can die on their faces in the sheds and just they just look terrible by the end of the, when they go to the slaughterhouse. And then they go to get gas and get put in like processed meat, chicken nuggets and that. So that's the egg industry. There's other things that are bad about those industries, but I don't want to take too much of your time, but. I don't know what to say, bro. <laughs> Have you had any health benefits since you've been vegan? Well, bro, I was- uh... Cause that could probably, make me want to be vegan more than just like uh, animals are getting uh, slaughtered like. uh, well, okay. there might be a better way to approach it that's what i'm saying yeah yeah so but, but but you told me that you don't like animal cruelty but you pay for it so that that's why i approach it like that because i hated being a hypocrite um but oh, if you're okay. happy to be a hypocrite oh damn <laughs> no nah, you can't say that you, nah. <laughs> how's yeah. man just saying no, that you can bro. come on camera <laughs> but, but basically what i'm saying is that you, <laughs> you told me that you hate seeing animals killed but you pay for it so <laughs> what else what, what other conclusion would i come to I was a hypocrite too, don't worry. Like, that was my realization. I was like, okay, I okay, okay. Can yeah. you get to the health benefits, please? So, whole foods, plant based uh, diet, um, more fiber, more fruits and vegetables, which is good. Um, it can protect, protective against heart disease, uh, diabetes, uh, things like this. Processed meats like bacon and ham and things like this are uh, class one carcinogen, classified by the World Health Organization. And red meats like lamb and pork and uh, beef were a class. 2A carcinogen, I think. So they probably cause cancer. Um, you know, and then you got that number one killer, which is heart disease, which uh, they can, uh, animal products contain cholesterol and saturated fat, which raise your blood cholesterol, which is the main risk factor for heart disease. And heart disease is the number one killer of human beings. So there are, and obviously plant foods don't have cholesterol. So, you know, yeah, I lost a bunch of weight. I had mental clarity. Um, stuffing dead body parts down my throat, I think uh, made me sluggish and, you know, I had, you know, decomposing body parts in my really? stomach. Really? It was, was that bad? I, was, I used to eat big T-bone steaks all the time and oh. things like this. And I, I was just mindlessly stuffing meat down my face, so. So did you just make the switch like that? Uh, like, so what happened? I was on, I was on house arrest actually. And uh, that was when I was, I got really fat because I was uh, taking a lot of drugs. I went on house arrest, got really fat, eating a lot of meat, a lot of cheese, a lot of bacon super fat and then I was looking for a diet to lose weight and I found raw raw vegan. So That's I was eating crazy. like raw fruits and vegetables, drinking these juices and I felt like I was on drugs from the fruits and vegetables. It was really? just like big green juices and I was like, wow. Like I felt like I could fly from the green juices and the raw food. And then after that, like I had a seed planted because I was watching this raw foodist and he was talking about karma. Uh -huh. And I seen karma in the gang world. I seen people that were going out doing stuff and stuff was happening to them back. So I, that, that's the seed that stayed in my head about karma and animals because I thought in the gang world, we're oh. always doing stuff to each other. And so people do something wrong to you and you retaliate. They do something wrong, you retaliate. Animals are innocent, right? And we're attacking innocent beings and they did nothing wrong to us. And that's what, what stuck in my head. So when I got out of prison and I've been, because I got sober in prison when I got out, I made the decision about a month after being out. Okay. I've been vegan ever since for since 2013. By the way, you telling me this makes me think about it more, by the way. But like... About my personal story? Yeah, because why are you vegan? Because you're asking me why am I not vegan? But I think it'd be better if I'm like, so why are you vegan then? What do you think about reading meat? What do I think about it? Uh, is It's better than an animal being, having the throat slashed open in a slaughterhouse for sure. Yeah, so the line is, um, not not using products that exploit and um, deliberately sort of kill animals. Yeah, I, I avoid honey actually, the honey industry. Um, there's gonna be like, as a vegan, there's gonna be like, you can't live without causing some harm. Like, you know, when you buy plants, like let's say you buy some fruits and vegetables and that, you can't guarantee no insects have been harmed. These things happen 
because of civilization. I would call some justified and unjustified. Like taking, rounding some cows up, throwing them in a slaughterhouse and bolt gunning them in the head and cutting their head off and putting them into a burger. I it's would very say it's, graphic language. Just because oh, that's what it's like. If I said, oh, they turn them into burgers, you would miss out that whole part. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. Because uh, the way you put it like that, I said it's graphic language because it hits me more than just saying they're slaughtered. The biggest thing that gets people is the propaganda. You never see, it's always farm to plate. It's always our oh, green grasses. Oh, cow, there's a picture of a cow and there's a burger. You never see what I see, which is, you know, they're, they're raised in factory farms or they're slaughtered in blood-filled slaughterhouses and they don't want to die and they're begging with a slaughter worker not to be shot in the head. That's what I see. They're desperately pleading, you know, blood everywhere, guts everywhere. That's what actually happens. But people are completely disconnected from that. And when I see the propaganda, like as an, inv an investigator or an animal rights activist, I can see it way more than most people because you know, I see the horrible other side and see what they promote to good people. You know what I mean? Mm. There's a very small percentage of people that don't care about animal suffering. You know what I mean? A very small percentage and they're cold sociopaths. They probably don't care about human suffering either. But most people... They're usually serial killers too. Yep, yep. They start if you with, kill, yeah. if, you, if you, you start with animals because they're usually a lot weaker than you. Yeah. And then you just go killing one that high. It's a gateway. It's fucked. Yeah. Yeah. It's a gateway. I was so, violent, violent towards people for a long time, actually. For like, you know, a decade. I was in violent gangs and we would, we would commit acts of violence on people, gang wars and guns and breaking people's legs and doing crazy stuff mm. for so long. But then when I got sober from all the drugs and that, I started to like think of this stuff. So I think like, what did a cow ever do to me? What did a chicken ever do? Like, oh, people that messed me up real bad and I haven't even done to them what I do to a chicken so I can eat them. And how is that fair on them, on that little bird? You know what I mean? Because I would defend, if someone was hitting a dog or a little kid, I would defend them straight away. With I would probably just run up and whack them as hard as I could. But I would do that, but in my other hand is a burger with a cow that was tortured and killed. You know what I mean? So how does that make sense? And I'm, you're probably all the same. Yeah. You made some good points. I have to reflect on it though. Mm. I'll think about what you said for yeah. sure. If there was one thing I get to watch, my friends made this. A friend, uh, animal rights activist in Australia. Another, my, my, my British uh, friends made this one, Land of Hope and Glory and Dominion. Right, and you understand why, I, why I've got graphic. Um, you. If you're gonna watch anything, mm -hmm. watch that, Dominion. Right, it will show you exactly what happens to all the animals in all the industries. Like you said, a how far do you take it? You know, and it, like circuses and breeding puppies and things like this. All the ways that humans exploit animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you'll know, oh wow. Okay, now I understand it. And then you'll, because you've got to have knowledge before you can make decisions, you know? Fair enough, bro. <laughs> oh shit, thank you. Thank no worries, you for On that bit of paper talking. I gave you, right? There's a vegan challenge. It's called okay. Challenge 22. Okay. They, it's free help if you want to go vegan, but I gave you a bunch of like apps on there that you can find vegan food and that mm -hmm. if you're interested mm -hmm. in shit. And, yeah, but watch yeah, yeah. Dominion if you want to be yeah, mind blown we'll about you. what they're doing. We'll watch you. Joey right. YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, Joey Carbstrong. Thank you. Uh, see you later, good talking to you, eh? Oh, thank you. <laughs> see you later. See you, mate. See you later. Bye-bye.